Do you know you can turn your waste into electricity to run your mills? In this video, I'm going to be showing you five ways in which you can combat waste into different forms of energy. So keep on watching. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the tribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I post a video. Without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. The first on the list is energy recovery from incineration. This involves the combustion of organic materials contained in waste streams. The heat generated from combustion is used to make steam, which in turn drives a turbine that generates electricity. Incinerating waste produces emissions and residues that must be contained and treated before being released back into the atmosphere in order for this process to truly have a positive environmental impact. The second way is through landfill gas recovery. Landfill gas recovery is the process by which methane gas is collected from solid waste deposited in the landfill. Landfill gas is a natural byproduct of the decomposition of organic material in landfill. Landfill gas is collected by using an underground network of pipes and wells. The composition of landfill gas is about 50% methane and 50% carbon dioxide with a small amount of non-methane organic compounds. When landfill gas is collected, it is sent to a treatment plant to remove contaminants and moisture. The treated landfill gas can then be used to run a generator or turbine to produce electricity. Next on the list is the production of biogas in anaerobic digesters. Landfill gas is actually biogas as it is produced under anaerobic conditions. However, biogas can be produced separately from a landfill by building anaerobic digesters. Biogas is a gas produced from the decomposition of organic materials such as animal droppings, human waste, food and plant waste under anaerobic conditions. Organic substances are placed into a system called a digester that is sealed to prevent the entrance of oxygen. And these substances decompose anaerobically producing a mixture of methane and carbon dioxide gas with some contaminants such as H2S, water vapor, xylosines, etc. This mixture of gases is called biogas. Biogas can be used directly for eating and cooking. It can be used to power generators which helps generate electricity. It can also be converted to diesel or jet fuels. So the fourth way is the production of biodiesel from waste cooking oil. Biodiesel is an alternative fuel similar to conventional diesel. Biodiesel can be produced from straight vegetable oil, animal oil slash fat, and waste cooking oil. It is advisable to produce biodiesel from waste cooking oil because it would eliminate the food versus fuel prices. Waste oil must be treated before conversion to biodiesel to remove impurities. After impurities have been removed, it can then be converted to biodiesel through various processes. The most common process of conversion is the base catalyzed transesterification process. Here, the oil is reacted with an alcohol in the presence of a base catalyst, producing biodiesel with glycerin as its byproduct. Biodiesel can be used 100% as B100 or as blends with conventional diesel such as B5 and B20, with B20 being the most common biodiesel blend in the United States. By B20, I mean 20% biodiesel and 80% conventional diesel. The fifth way you can convert waste to energy is through bioethanol production from agricultural waste. Bioethanol is an alcohol made by microbial fermentation, mainly from carbohydrates produced in sugar or starch bearing plants, such as corn, sugar cane, sweet, sorghum, or lignocellulosic biomass. Using crops like corn and sugar cane can once again enter into the debate of land for food versus land for fuel. So in order to improve the sustainability 
of this industry, production of bioethanol from waste such as rice straw, wheat straw, and sugarcane baggers is highly recommended. Ethanol fuel blends are widely sold in the United States. The most common blend is 10% ethanol and 90% petrol, known as the E10. Vehicle engines require no modification to run on E10. However, only flexible fuel vehicles can run on up to 85% ethanol and 15% petrol blends, known as the E85. Take note, this is not an exhaustive list as there are several other ways waste can be converted to energy. However, developing countries can leverage on these options to contribute to their energy needs. Thanks for watching till the end of this video. If you're not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I post a video. See you in my next video. Bye!